Hey, today we're going to talk about website analytics. You might think that the only game in town with website analytics is Google Analytics, but there are services like Umami, which we'll be looking at today, that offer web analytics. And if you're like me and you don't necessarily want Google to control your whole life, it might be worth looking into a service like this. Let's add it to a website and see what it's like. And first, I'm curious, though, I want to view demo. Let's see what it looks like. So the dashboard is nice and clean. There's different filters here for date range. We have page clicks. We have refers, so links, like origin links, I believe that is. We break it down into OS, device, browser type. We got a map. So pretty much everything, for the most part, that I look at with Google Analytics is here. Let's go through some of the features here. Simplified analytics, the dashboard was super clean own your own data. So you can use their cloud service or you can do a self-hosted Umami server. So you can actually host your own analytics server, which is pretty cool. Data privacy. So GDPR compliant, which is awesome. Let's get started. Let's add it to my current portfolio website. So just log in here. So I'm going to add a new website. I'll name this portfolio. And just a quick note with adding the domain, you can't have HTTPS and you can't have a slash at the end. All right, cool. If we go to view, it should be empty. Yes, it is. There's nothing in there. We need to add the tracking codes. If you're familiar with Google Analytics, you know that you need to add a tracking code, which is a, usually a JavaScript script that connects to the analytics service. So we need to go about adding that. If you go to edit, right within edit, there's a tab for tracking code. I believe this is all we need here. So here's my portfolio site. I am using a layout, so I'll go into my layout here, and here's the head tag. Let me paste in that tracking code, and I'll save it. Let's run npm install to make sure it's actually on my machine, and then we'll run it locally to make sure it builds. All right, cool, there we are. Let's uh, make that commit with the tracking code. Okay, cool, and I see that I am a visitor on my phone. And I am on iOS, iOS mobile. I'm in the United States. Pretty instant when I went to real time. So yeah, I thought this was worth looking at. This is interesting if you're doing work for someone and they would like to have some analytics and maybe they don't necessarily want Google to control their whole life. Umami is a great option. There is a self-hosted version. Let's look at that really quick to see what that entails. So you can host this on just a node server. You can even host it on services like Vercel, Netlify, Render, and Railway. So you can even go the next step further and set up your own server. And that way, all of your data is completely yours. And you can have that in analytics data that people want, that businesses want to see where people are coming from, see what pages they're going to, and seeing kind of what they click on. You can create reports. Let's see what it looks like to create reports. So there's funnels, there's insights, there's retentions. So you can query different inputs here. There's also teams, so you can set up different teams if you have multiple people working on this type of stuff or marketing people in the organization. So pretty cool app, completely free and open source. And uh, it's an alternative to Google. So I hope this was helpful. Um, like and subscribe this video if you learned something new, if you learned there's an alternative to Google out there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next video. Have a great day.